What makes a good editor from an average editor? They know how to pace the story. In this video, I'm going to share with you my way of crafting a story so people are engaging in the story or the video or the message. Let's find out how we can do it in LumaFusion in this video. Let's go! Now, pacing is a lifetime process. It's a lifetime learning as an editor. So first thing first, right, where do we begin? Of course, we're going to begin with pre-production. What is your story is all about? Is it action? Is it drama? Is it an entertainment YouTube channel video? Or an education video like what I'm doing right now? Now, you plan ahead. What are you going to say? You have the script. You have the content ready. So that is where the tempo setting begins. So you, how many camera are you setting up? Right now I have two cameras, one in front of me, one on the side like that, right? So I have two cameras, but it's stationary, okay? So the tempo of this video is really static. I can cut back and forth between the two cameras to share with you a different story. When you do your planning phase, your pre-production, you can plan for this kind of thing. This is an example of a tempo that is very, hopefully, my education video is more pacing, the pacing is more up there. So I don't bore you guys, okay? But I paint a hair so I have different cut. I will cut to different camera very often. The thing is not that too static. And I, I will incur in, put in more B-roll so you have more choices to see, okay? So that's the first thing. Okay, your pre-production, what you plan ahead. So you know what kind of pacing are you after. You have different angles, how many shots you're gonna take, all that stuff, if you are into an entertainment kind of situation, okay? The next thing you talk about is to move or not to move. Now, after the pre-production, you know what kind of shot okay, you are after. So how many shots how long you're gonna take, how many angles you're gonna make, okay, all that stuff. Is, is the character moving or is he stationary like me? Okay. Am I moving around? Am I moving around like this? Am I moving around? Okay. Or am I staying still? Okay. You decide. Is the camera gonna move? Is the camera gonna move for me? Or the camera station? Am I gonna move? Okay. All that kind of stuff incorporate into your moving. Okay. So if there's a lot of movement, like an action movie, okay, bang, 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 different angles, bang, 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 bang. more camera, camera movement, people movement, and the cutting will be faster as well. There's, there's always slow motion as well. So to make it dramatic, okay, a punch, for example, like that, I could use a slow mo right here, right, right there, and. It will be with more impact. The story, the tempo, the pacing will be slow that time, but it's create a drama. And I can always use that kind of drama in any video. Now, the best way to see if you understand about tempo is just watch any James Bond beginning intro, the intro of any James Bond movie. Full on action, right? Bang, 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 action. The main character, bang, wide angle, many shots. They get in you into the the story straight away, right? Any James Bond movie, okay? Characteristics of any James Bond movie. Character movement, camera movements, all that great stuff. Now, after the shooting has been done, this is where the story are cooked up in the edit room. Now, in Loma Fusion, we can do our edit like that. So, if you have your pre-production plan ahead already, you should have all the shots that you are need for your edit, okay? For your editing in any software you want. My recommendation is Luma Fusion. Any story, okay, there's always two things. Four, four things actually, there's always four things of any basic story. The first is the intro, okay? If you watch any channel, that's the intro. It's very action packed, right? Boom, 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 boom. For a YouTube channel, okay? There's always the hook. If you remember the beginning of this video, I gave you the hook, okay? Why are you watching my video? That's the intro. What is the compelling reason? Why are you watching my video? So I'll try to get you, hook you up within the first 30 seconds. And any James Bond movie, similar process. And that's how you pace your, depends on your type of art story that you want to share, okay? Is it educational or is it an entertainment? A James Bond movie will have a lot of camera movement, a lot of character movements. The pacing is very fast, right? Action. But if you are talking about a drama, okay? 
slow pace or documentary or a from my style it's more educational then you can pace it out slower a longer cut okay a five to seven second cut instead of like two to three seconds cut in every shot number two is what the plot Okay, you get to go straight into the story. Now in a feature movie like a James Bond movie, there's plot, okay, the story, how to carry the story. Imagine, so that's the bottom, okay? So imagine that's the beginning, high up like that, and it go down, okay? Pacing down, the intro is really fast paced, bang, bang, bang. then slow down a little bit, then still slowly build up to a peak. So that's it's in any movie. As a YouTube video, my channel for example. It's more educational. So I will paste the video to get the peak, okay? The story, what the content that I want to share with you guys. Hopefully, with more drama and like stuff like that. With my voice inflection, different camera angles, all that stuff to make a compelling story. Now with any stories, there's always a plot, right? Let's go to my peak. What are people achieving from watching my video? Do you get entertainment? Do you get educated? Are you educated now? Do you have a message to share that are peaking at that point? So you have your hook, your plot, then you have a message to deliver, deliver the dream to people. Okay? And again, so that is the basic of a story. And of course, the conclusion. Okay, Any fairy tale you, you see, any movie, there's always the, your hero, your main character, the stars of that movie, achieve something, a goal, kill a villain, Rescue somebody, any Cinderella fan out there, similar process, okay? For a YouTube video, you need a call to action. What uh, you want people to go next from here. At the end of this video, I will have a call to action for, to, for you as well. And you will know what is my call to action. Now in Lumen Fusion, the next step we can do, play with is have effects, okay? You want to add in your lower third, different graphic effects. Okay, sound effects or movement in the shot. Okay, we can zoom in, zoom out, all that stuff to pace our tempo. Okay, pace our video. Now, if I cut very short, short clip, different angles, I will have like pacing in this video, for example, a pacing very slow or very fast. Also, the music that I try to put into the video. The sound effect that I introduce into my video also add to that. So this is a, the tools we can play with as an editor. After it's been shot, it's all come out to us to convey a message. Okay? We can use sound effect, we can use music to convey a message if it's slow tempo or a very fast paced action pack. So this is where the skills come in. That's why I told you guys at the beginning of the video, pacing of the edit of the video <laughs> of your movie is a lifetime <laughs> learning process. The more you get good at that, the higher you are going to pay, of course. And the more audience you can attract to watching your movie or your video. Hey, now Travis, that's a lot of stuff to learn. That's right. One time I had a discussion with uh, other editor in Luma Fusion Reddit uh, forum, and the guy would say, hey, I want this, I want this, I want this. It's all basically a video function only. What my suggestion to you guys is don't leave the Oscar on the table. If you watch the Oscar night, how many awards are there? From acting to video to what? Audio, sound effects, all that stuff, right? So as a one-man band, YouTube content creator, that is where you should begin. Look, I don't expect you to master everything, <laughs> but at least you know the importance of each one. Okay? So if you have in the future, if your channel is growing, for example, or if you work in a, in a team environment, you know what is the expect expectation. Okay? So don't leave the Oscar on the table for other people. Are you finding this content valuable? Leave me down comment down below so I know this kind of content is what you're after what you need right now. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.